Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 919. And if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to see one simple task. How do you copy a sheet? Now, I have a bunch of notes here for the keyboard method because it gets pretty tricky. And then, uh, note here, it says when you copy a sheet, it copies the formatting formulas, any defined names if you have them in page setup. I'm going to come over here. We have a template. And we simply want to copy it over to create February, March, etc. The keyboard method is so awesome. Here's how it works. Sheet tab, you take your selection cursor, you point till you see it turn to a diagonal white arrow. Once you have that diagonal white arrow over the sheet tab, you click, mouse click, drag up, and there's two things. That sheet of paper right there means I'm moving it. That icon for a sheet of paper says I'm taking the whole sheet. That little black arrow pointing downward, that says where you're going to drop the sheet. Now watch this. Right now I'm moving because I'm only mouse clicking on the sheet. But watch what happens to that sheet of paper icon when I hold control. It turns to a plus. I let go of it, no plus. When I hold control, that plus means I'm copying it. So now watch this. This is the part that people get um, have trouble with. Once you have this situation, there's a plus that means I have the control and the mouse pushed down. To copy it, you have to let go of the mouse, not the control. So I'm letting go of the mouse, and instantly I have my sheet. Now I can do it again, control control, click, drag up. So now I've held them at the same time. The key is let go of the mouse first. Now watch this. Here's a great trick. Once you get three, I can click on the first one and hold shift and click on the last one. I've highlighted three of them. Now when I point to January and drag it up, that is moving. I'm going to hold control. I see the plus. Now I am copying. So when I let go of the mouse, not the control, it copies four of them. And then you can go through and double click and, and rename them, right? Here's another great trick. And then enter, and you'd go through and rename them. Another great trip trick for copying sheets. Notice it says week one. Well, we already saw what the pattern is. When you have the name, since you can't have a duplicate names, it puts in parentheses two, three, four. So instead of if you have week one or uh, sales rep one or whatever, day one, instead of putting a one, put open parentheses, one, close parentheses. Now you've established a name that when you control, click with your mouse, drag up, let go of the mouse, you're incrementing sheet uh, names with numbers. Control, click, let go of the mouse click. Another important aspect of naming, here is a perfect template. I'm back on January. If you want to send it to a new workbook, right click. I see I'm going to have to drag this up. Right click, move or copy. This dialog box, the first part it says, where do you want to move? And I'm going to say a new workbook. Then it's um, down here, the most important thing. If I don't check that, it'll move it. So I'm going to be sure and check, create a copy. Now it will copy to a new workbook. Click OK. So I move this template, you can see up here, book four, to a new workbook. If you want to do it to an existing workbook, right click, move or copy. Existing, so I'm moving this template from a 2012, I want to use continue using this template in 2013. So sales 2013, I click on that workbook. And notice here it says, where in this workbook? Before which sheet? I want it after two. So I have to say before sheet three. Be sure and click if you want to copy it. Check that right there and then click OK. If you don't check that, it'll move it. It'll remove it from that first workbook and put it into the second workbook. All right, so now I've placed it exactly where I want. All right, um, there's the steps for that great keyboard for copying a worksheet. And we also saw how to move a worksheet. See you next trick.